Oh yeah, this is a part seven of um, the horror redux. Um, I'm sorry, man. I meant to do this for Halloween, man, but like uh, I didn't have time, so I'll, I'll, I'll do it like you know, like every every few days or something. You know, I mean, it might take a while, but um, first of all, let's go just go to death. Um, I was a bit disappointed with that one. Um, I expected that to be a lot better. It was a bit a bit disappointing. Uh, Leviathan um, underwater uh, monster movie with um, Peter Weller. Um, it's a good one. This, I mean, this and Deep Star Six. Uh, there's another one as well. Oh god, I can't think of its name. There's another one, but that hasn't been released on DVD. Another one round about that time. I can't think what it was called. Lighthouse British horror movie. I think. I think James Purefoy is in this one. Yeah, he is. Yeah, it was all right. I don't remember much about it. I don't remember hating it. I think it was all right. Uh, Link, this is a real good one. This is uh, Anchor Bay. Um, I got this for a really good price. I, think I, got, I got this for like two or three quid off eBay um, a few years back. Um, it's an awesome film. Um, it really is a great film. Um, Living Hell. Um, that was alright. Mad as well. Uh, the Locals. Having a chance to see that film. Um, uh, the Locker 1 and 2. Um, my age and horror. The first one's pretty good, the second one's not as great. Um, story centering around a baby being left in a locker. Um, it's alright. Okay. Uh, another age and horror. Um, Lona comes with a nice, um, nice slip cover. Um, yeah, that was a good one as well. I enjoyed that. Um, Long Pigs. Absolutely awesome film. Um, comes with the, the jerky as well that looks absolutely just totally inedible um, I don't know if you can eat that I'd probably wouldn't advise it uh, Long Weekend um, awesome sort of man against nature not like well against the environment sort of flick um, it's a good film uh, Lost Boys probably one of my favourite horrors of the 80s um, awesome Lost Boys 2 the tribe fucking absolute shite Um Madhouse, that was alright, that was alright, that was okay. Um, Madman, probably one of my favourite um, slasher movies, that's awesome. Um, that's a great one. Um, Magic, one of the one of the real great, um, probably more psychological thriller than a horror. Um, Anthony Hopkins is absolutely awesome. Now, I'm not Anthony Hopkins' like, biggest fan, but he's awesome in this movie. Um, He's acting in that scene when he's with that woman and he's playing that card game to see if you know they can read each other's minds. His acting there is absolutely incredible. Um, the Maid, I think this is, is this from is this from Singapore. This one, I could be wrong about that. Um, yeah, this is this Singapore. That was okay. That was alright. Um, Malevolence. Yeah, that's good. I'm going to turn to check it out here. Uh, the Mangler. Uh, the Manhunt, this was an awesome film, pretty um, to the point, I think it only goes on for about 80 minutes, um, pretty brutal, some good deaths in it as well, um, I really recommend that, that's a great one. Um, Maniac, probably the best, one of the best of the A's, um, for sure, the, oh god, that's one of my favourite deaths in any movie. Uh, Maniac Cop, which is a classic, an absolute classic. Uh, Maniac Cop 2, um, that's another great one. Um, it's a shame that you know um, Joe, um, Joe Spinell died because you know they were gonna. He was basically gonna be the killer. And they were gonna do like the crossover Maniac and Maniac Cop. And it's a shame he died before that could be. <clears throat> that could happen. But the ending of Maniac Cop Two is brilliant when they both go through the wall together. Maniac Cop Three, oh, that, that ain't so good. From what I remember, um, Maniacs. Uh, man's best friend, um, Lance going up against some sort of super sort of cyborg type dog. Good film. Um, yeah, very entertaining. Man or two, daft 70s horror. Some woman gets what she thinks is a tumour, but it's um, an Indian spirit um, trying to be reborn. Tony Curtis is just, just he's funny in it. Um, and Michael. Um, and Sarah's good in it as the medicine man who helps him. Burge Meredith turns up for a bit. It's it, it's it's pretty good. The ending's kind of ridiculously daft. Um, 
but till then I, I enjoyed it. it it was pretty it was good fun um the scene when the old woman's chanting Manitou and she stacks it down the staircase oh it's, it's fucking hilarious man it's really funny um this is the Manson family um I enjoyed this one I thought this was a good film I think I think this is uncut or is it or is it cut here um yeah, I really enjoyed it, Jim Van Beeb. I think um, it's uh, that's a good film. That is, I thought that was a good one. Um, the Marsh. Uh, George Romero's Martin. I, 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 this is a very, very weird film. Um, it's a good film, but the guy playing Martin was great in it. You can see uh, again, probably more kind of a psychological thing than a horror, I suppose. But um, the ending's kind of very weird as well. It's got a good feel to it. It's a, it's a good one. Uh, Marta's unbelievable film. If you've seen it, you know, I don't need to tell you how good it is. Maximum Overdrive. A bit disappointed with this one as well. Um, wasn't as good. I mean, I enjoyed the sound chop by ACDC, but um, there's the odd kind of good death in that, but it isn't, it isn't so great. Um, Midnight. Sorry, just blowing out. Um, Bit not me train which I really enjoyed. I thought that was good. Vinnie Jones just shut his mouth and didn't speak and just went around slaughtering people. That was good. Um Midnight Hour, um this is Anchor Bay, this is long out of print. This is a uh, this is pretty hard to get now. Um it's good kind of cheesy fun. Um it's hard to get. Um Midnight Movie, a nice little cover. I don't like that cover. I got another edition of Midnight Movie as well, that recent, and um, the Killer Cut. It's got a different. As I said, um, I haven't had a chance to see the Killer Cut yet, but if, if there's a bit more violence, um, I mean, the film is pretty well made. It just lacked, um, just lacked some good deaths in it. You know, if it had some good deaths, it definitely would have been good. That's uh, the uh, Mirror Mirror box set. Uh, Misery, which is absolutely awesome. Just, oh, just such a good film. Um, the Mist, again, absolutely amazing. Monster Man, pretty shit film. There's a guy in this that I just absolutely just want to just kick the living shit out of. Oh god, he goes around wearing clogs. Uh, I think he's wearing clogs. So oh, he's just he, he's just an absolute annoying fat prick. He just needs death. I don't think he gets it either. Um, Monster Squad, absolutely classic film, unbelievable film. Um, Mortuary, um, the Italian edition of it. Um, starring a young uh, Bill Paxton, I think. Yeah. Um Motel Hell, absolute awesome film. That is a classic. Mothman Prophecies, which I enjoyed. I enjoyed that, I thought Richard Gear was pretty good in it. Um Yeah, I, I thought that I thought that was alright. Mr. Brooks, um really, really good modern horror. It is, I, I agree with that, best serial killer for for in yeah, I really do. I think uh Costner's amazing in it. Um his alter, um, he's kind of other kind of half of him. Um, William Hurt, like he, he's he's awesome in it. Um, it's got a real good feel to it, and you know it, it's really well made. Um, Mr. Frost, um, I had this on VHS back in the day. Um, Jeff Goldblum playing, well playing Satan. Um, he's awesome in it. He really is good. Um, Alan Bates does it as well. Yeah. Like when you confess them to the killings at the beginning, that's, uh, that's a good one. Uh, Monkey Shines, that's another good one. Right. So I'm not as over enthusiastic, I've kind of hurt my shoulder, so it's kind of uncomfortable. Um, this is um, Muir, or um, the portrait. Um, that's another good one, that is. I think that's the American Eye thing, mate. Murder by the Cree, um, <clears throat> really, really good. Um, Jack the Ripper film. Um, Christopher Plummer's amazing in it. Um, James Mason plays a Watson as well. It's awesome to move back a little bit. Um, Murder Party, um, I got recommended this. I don't know who recommended it to me. I wish they fucking hadn't. <laughs> Oh man, just such a shitty film. Not even good shitty. Oh, I fucking hated it. Just annoying lines like, oh god, what was that guy's line? You know, they're all doing this in Belarus or something. I just wanted to fucking kill him. Just stupid 
stupid film. Um, murder set piece is a director's cut of it. I enjoyed that film. Um, it is it is pretty brutal. Um, the killing of the uh, the young girl on the toilet that was pretty messed up. Um, mute witness. Um, Buddy Cooper's uh, the mutilator. Um, this is a I, I like this film. Um, well, not as gory as I thought it was going to be, but it was still still entertaining. I like that cover art because I hate. I, I, I always wanted to get that edition. Didn't want to get the uh, Vipco one. I hate the releases. Um, my bloody Valentine, probably the best. Um, one of the best slashes of the eight is really good film. Really stands out. Uh, the remake of my bloody Valentine, I thought it was a good remake. And good kills. Good to see uh, Matkins turning up in it. Um, yeah, some real good deaths in that. I thought that was a good one. I thought it was a good over to the original right. Uh, my name is Bruce. <clears throat> that's a great film. I mean, if you're a Campbell fan, I suppose. I suppose if you're not, you probably wouldn't. Um, now I've got Massacre. Uh, Nature of the Beast, Eric Roberts and Lance Hendrickson. Um, that's an, it's, a, it's a great film. I mean, two of kind of real great, real great B movie actors. Um, Victor Salva, the guy from the Jeepers Creepers, the perverted bastard. Again, I don't know how he's had three to be honest with you, but it, he has done some good films, yeah. I mean, I suppose I can't deny that. Uh, the Nameless. That's a good one as well. <sighs> Near Dark, probably one of my favourite vampire films. It's probably one of my favourite uh, scenes in a horror movie when they um, des <laughs> descend on that bar. Oh, man, it's awesome. Um, Necromantic 2. Um, this comes in like a little, little quite a few goodies inside. Um, I won't show inside of it. Um, as I said, it's not as strong as the first film, in my opinion, but uh, the ending is hilarious. The ending is very, very good. Um, Neon Maniacs, that's out for it now as well. Uh, the New Daughter, um, I think this just recently got released in England, but it's been out for ages. This is Region 1. Um, good kind of haunted house, not really haunted house. Um, a bit hard to explain the film. Like, well, his daughter basically gets kind of possessed slash replaced type thing. It's um, it's a good one. I, I enjoyed Costner blowing a few of those creatures away at the end with the shotgun. Got a very, very, yeah, very dark ending. That I thought, I thought that was good. Uh, the new kids, <laughs> uh, Tom Atkins and his wife. Um, Tom Atkins part of the army. He um, he dies and his kids have got to go into um, care of their uncle in. I think they're in Florida, are they? And they basically get terrorised by a teenage gang led by Spider, who's an absolute piece of shit in it. He's amazing. Uh, the ending's great. It's um, that's a good film. I really enjoy that. Probably not totally hard, but it's great. Um, Nightbreed. What's that film? Love it. I hope they get. I know there's rumours. Hopefully, maybe one day that might get like an extended release of it. You know. Um, uh, Nightmare. Um, Code Red. Um, I haven't had a chance to see that film yet, I will, I, I meant to watch it at Halloween, didn't get the chance to. Um, Nightmares, um, this is out of print. Um, again, I, I, in my opinion, it's probably the best horror anthology out there. I mean, if you if you manage to pick that film, I'd say, for like between 20 and 30, which is pretty cheap for it, you won't be disappointed with that, it's awesome. It really is awesome. I don't normally advocate, you know, spending a lot of money on out of print stuff. Night Flyer, quite a crash, so this is awful. Um, two pack of uh, Night of Fear and uh, In and the Damned. Night of the Creeps, that's good for me. Uh, Night of the Demons, that was okay. Uh, Night of the Hunter, um, Robin Mitchum is absolutely amazing. Great, great film, never got the. Um, Never got the credit I deserved at the time. Um, not Living Dead. Let me you what is. Um, not a Living Dead remake, which is very good as well by Sabini. Uh, Night Stalker. Um, the kind of the films before they did. Did they do this before the TV series or just after? I'm not too sure. The TV series is kind of kind of campy kind of fun. At times, sometimes it can be a bit of a chore. Like uh, Night Track. Uh, Night Visitor. Uh, this, that's the original Night Watch, uh, which was good. Uh, the re and the remake, um, the Americanized remake, McGregor. 
that was pretty good. Um, Night Watch, I got this edition from Russia absolutely ages ago, long before I like, uh, got released um, over here. The subtitles are pretty shitty on that. Um, but yeah, I do like the film. Um, Nightwing, Bat movie. And kind of mini hard box of mini hard box of a uh, new costume trailer. Uh, knife configuration. It's another great one. A bit of black. Uh, Nari the curse. Um, bit slow. Um, kind of in regards to the storyline, but the build up, um, the cl uh, the climax of the ending is fucking absolutely great. Very nightmare. Um, the objective um, starts off well and just, and then just runs into the whole light. It's not very good. Of Unknown Origin, one of the best kind of uh, creature features of the 80s. But you're well going up against it's going to be a big rat. It's fucking awesome. It's an absolute pleasure to watch that one. Um, the Omen Pentology. Pretty good, you know, save the... They're all worth watching, save the Awakening. That's fucking awful. One Miss Call. Um, one was called two. They're, they're both great. I prefer the first film, but they're, they're both great films. And um, the ordeal, really, really deranged film. Oh my god. Um, stars the guy from I Stand Alone. Is it Philip Nahan? Is that his name? Um, that's a great film. Really good film. Orca Killer Well, one of the films that kind of preceded Jaws as Animal Attack movies. Um, it's great. It, it, it is. It is genuinely a good film. It's hard what happens, you know. In it, you know, in regard to the um, uh, the young kind of killer. Well, well, no, not the young. Well, that and the mum, um, Patrick. You, you're kind of rooting for Orca throughout that um, orphan. Uh, the orphanage, which is a, which is a very, very good film. Um, Outcast. Um, Kind of a weird, very, very good film. I enjoyed it. Kind of British made film with a lot of kind of Celtic uh, mythology behind it. Um, I enjoyed that. And the last of the shelf um, is the pack. Um, I think on subsequent watching, I don't think I enjoyed it as much as I thought I had the first time. Um, just doesn't really go anywhere. Uh, but the creatures look great in it, but it just doesn't really go anywhere for me at times. Like, it's not bad, but just not, not great. So yeah, that, that shelf is done, and I'll move on to another shelf, probably do one in a few days, and cheers for watching, appreciate it, and I'll see you in a while, cheers.